Hi everyone, this is Jada with Kickside, and for today's video, we're going to be um, learning about how to edit recurring billings. Now, the, there will be two scenarios that we will run through within this, um, just so that you know you'll understand how to um, make those changes if we're ever in those circumstances or in those scenarios. So from your dashboard, if we head over to finances, you're always gonna wanna go to your recurring billings tab here and then make sure that we're still on our active ones because we can only make edits to recurring billings that are active at this point. So say we're going to go ahead and make a change to Hope Kick site here. If we click on this here, the first scenario that we're gonna run through is editing a recurring billing that has already started and already has payment history, payment attempts already on it. So you will notice now in the recurring billing that there is an edit icon in the top right hand corner. If we select that ed edit icon, you will get this window here where we can change the amount. We can tell the system, maybe if it's being taxed right now, I want it to be tax exempt. I can change the duration. Maybe I want this to be an unlimited recurring billing now at the same price. And I can also change the revenue stream. Maybe this is now a events type of recurring billing and I can up Update those changes. Now, when I update those changes, you will notice in the history spot any change that I had made and who made that change for this particular recurring billing. So that's the first scenario. The second scenario, if we go back to our recurring billings, would be for any recurring billing that we just added into the system. So if we go through our normal process of adding it, we hit continue, um, maybe we put it on auto pay or we don't put it on auto pay. When we're in that recurring billing here, you can see we haven't made any attempts, it hasn't started, we haven't done anything at this point. We still have our pencil icon in the top right hand corner where we can select it. But now in this window, there's two significant things that are different. We can change the start date and we can also change the frequency of this recurring billing. So it'll look very similar to the window that you know noticed when you create a new recurring billing. So if we notice, oh, oops, I actually meant to have this start on July 1st. So I can change it from the 28th to July 1st. Maybe I also want this frequency to be a bi-weekly type of recurring billing. So I can change that to every two weeks. Everything else looks good. I can go ahead and update it. And once again, any update that is main, made will show in your history section down below here. Now keep in mind, making edits to the recurring billing does not change the status of the auto pay. So if I'm already on auto pay and I needed to edit to turn it off, we're not gonna do that through the edit option. We have to come to our auto pay option below here to turn it on and off. Now that's gonna be from the finance section. If we search in it, you're like myself and like to work from the student profile. If we type in the name in the top on the search section and we go to that profile, it's going to be the same process. So if we go to our finance section here, go to our recurring billing tab, scroll through, maybe they have a lot of recurring billings. We find the one that we want to make changes to. We select the title and it's going to take us to the exact same page where we were just at where we have our edit option in the top right hand corner to make the appropriate edits. So I hope that you guys find this um, super helpful and that's all I have for you today.